So any questions about this style? I mean, this was probably going to be 5% of the exam right there. How many gametes, how many genotypes, how many phenotypes, whatever. And it's not really uh, a true or false. Remember, you will have some true and false. Uh, true and false. This is a true breeder. This is true. Why? Because by definition, a true breeder has to produce how many different types of gametes? One. 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 This one is absolutely one. Why? A can only be a little, big, little. Another way to get it is 2 to the power what? Remember, it's 2 to the power n, where n is what? The number of heterozygous gene yeah. pairs. <coughs> zero. 2 to the power zero is one. So any questions about this style of... Uh, now, the other part, um, the other type of uh, questions early on are pedigrees. So let me just do one real quick. And you will not get, we'll work out some probability shortly, but you're not going to get one where the pedigree is tied to that two-third type probability, and then you have to work it all the way down. So the pedigree questions would be, of this type, let's say, um, <coughs> sorry. No, I might ask you lethal, but not in the context of a pedigree. Uh, so, let me give you an example of a pedigree. Uh, let's say, let's do one that would uh, done in the same. Okay, remember, you have five choices for monogenic inheritance. We're assuming complete penetrance. In, uh, oh, you have to know the difference. Uh, of, yeah, that's in this chapter. You have to know the difference between penetrance and expressivity. Right? Penetrance is all or nothing. Expressivity is degree. So, uh, with this one, why link, true or false? Right, that's false because... The father should have given it to his sons. The father doesn't. It cannot be y -linked. So, uh, And you can go through them. It can't be y -linked. Can it be orosomal uh, dominant? But once you've worked on it, uh, hopefully you can uh, rekindle that uh, pedigree magic, so to speak. Uh, but there are shortcuts. There are shortcuts which you can prove or someone can simply tell them to you, but I think it's better for you to prove them, that way you'll never forget them. You cannot have dominance where the parents don't have it, but the children do, and you can prove it, <coughs> right? If you're assuming it is dominant, that means these kids have to have a big A, but their parents only have little A's to give. It can't be autosomal dominant. At the same time, it can't be autosomal recessive by the same analogy. This guy has to have a big A, his parents don't have a big A to give him. It cannot be dominant. Right? Now, so you've ruled out autosomal dominant, extinct dominant with one swoop. Now, can it be autosomal recessive? And very quickly, you can prove it. These two are carriers. They give their children the two little A's. What's the probability of, I mean, sorry, what's the genotype for this woman, this daughter? A what? You can't tell. Okay. Now, what is the probability that she's a carrier? She's a what? What's the probability that she's a carrier? It's two thirds, exactly. I'm not going to ask you this in the context of you know then carry it down all the way, but you do have to know that her probability of being a carrier is two thirds. Why? Because you know for a fact she's not two little a's. That leaves you three slots to worry about. Uh, can it be rosomal recessive? It sure can. Can it be rosomal? Um, sorry. Can it be X-linked recessive? Uh, X linked recessive, he has to be little a y, same with his uh, brother. He, we know for a fact, has to be big A because he's normal. She, we know for a fact, has to have a big A because she's normal. But she has given the little a's to her children, her sons. She has to be two little a's. So does anyone not see this? Now, let me ask, uh, tell you what, how convoluted the pedigree I can ask you and then leave it at that. Uh, or I will work it out. If I told you this, this woman is, uh, let's, let's say this son didn't happen. Uh, this woman 
is married <coughs> to a normal man. And I'm telling you, this is color blindness. Color blindness is an extinct recessive disorder. This woman is married to this man, and they are planning to start a family. So this one has not happened yet. What is the probability that their firstborn is colorblind? This has not happened yet. What's the probability that their firstborn is colorblind, given this family tree? Right? So if you want to take 20 seconds or 30 seconds and try to think about it, and we'll work it out. Thank <clears throat> you.